What's up, YouTube? Dragoon here. I am here with Taylor Cooley, aka T Cooley18. We just got back from locals the other day. He got second place with this Dark World deck, and I gotta say, it's different than any other Dark World deck I have ever seen. So let's start with the deck profile, man. All right. Hey, first I'm gonna just start off with some regular Dark World cards that you'd see. Three Graphas. Two gold. Okay. Two silver. Mm-hmm. Two snow. Now, why only two snow? Why do you not like three? I know a lot of Dark World players play three. What made you decide to play two? Well, I would like three, but I just can't play it with the other cards I play Okay, here. makes sense. So let's see what else you got. Two brow. As you can see, I like two. Mm-hmm. Two's right. are good. That's, that's just the Dark World. Now you have the common Dark World other cards. Morphing Jar, Trance... And two tour guide. Okay. Now the tour guides are what kind of link this deck, because this is what makes it different. Resonators. I play clock resonator, dark resonator, and then two flare. Okay. Now talk to me about these resonators. What do these do for you right. that that really give you an edge in certain types of matchups? All right. Clock resonator is just great because as long as it's in defense, it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. So you know if I special summon it, my opponent can't torrential it or bottomless it or Mm -hmm. Like anything, because okay. it just stays in the field. So it's a great defense. Dark Resonator is only by battle, but it has a little bit more attack. So, you know, if he doesn't have anything, I can summon it, attack, and not be afraid it's going to be destroyed next turn. Makes sense. Slayer Resonator is just good if I'm just going to get it on the field and synchro with it, because it gives that ever monster it was an extra 300 attack, which is a lot when your monster already has 25 to 3,000 attack. So you you like to use these cards as just real fast tuners. Exactly. Okay, makes sense. All right. Let's and then the... another strange card that I like to play to help out with my resonators to get quick eights, Garbage Lord. Now, talk to me about Garbage Lord. This is a new card from Cosmo Blazer. Um, I've, a lot of people have just pretty much dismissed this card. What, what made you decide to play Garbage Lord? Like, how did that happen? Well, originally, I did think it was just a bad card, but then I realized, hey, you know, it's Fiend, it's Dark, it's level 5, so I thought I'd throw one in and try. First time I played it, it was really nice. I mean, it's just, if it's something if you have in your hand with a Resonator, you, you can just pay the 2,000 to special summon this from your hand, mm -hmm. which is a lot late game, but early game, it's just great. And then you bring out a Resonator, and you Synchro, and you can get a level 8. You can get Stardust first turn. Nice. And now that Warring is at 1, that extra 2,000 you can pay with Garbage Lord kind of fits right in there. Yep. And also, um, it's kind of nice to see, like, the differences that Garbage Lord can bring. Like, is Garbage Lord a card that you usually side out in Game 2, depending on what you're playing against? Or do you usually keep one? How do you usually how do you go about Garbage Lord in the well, deck when you I go to Game 2? Sometimes I will side out one, but I'll always keep one in my deck. Because it's just nice, and it's just so great. Because it also works with Gate, since it's a Fiend. Mm -hmm. It's just a really nice card to at least have one of for quick synchros. Makes sense. Alright, is that all the monsters? Yep, that's all the monsters I have. Alright, let's go to the spells. Alright, spells. Some other normal Dark World cards. Three gates, only two dealings, okay, and then one Dark World Lightning. Tell me about Dark World Lightning. Like, I know some people aren't playing that. What do you like about it? I like it because it's just nice to destroy one of their face downs, and even if they activate it, they still didn't want to activate it then, so you still got rid of the card. Mm -hmm. And if they don't activate it, well, then you get to discard too. Nice. And you don't get rid of that. Now, does that work for set monsters? Yes, it actually does. Sweet. It just has to be one set card. Okay. So, you know, it's great with Book of Moon combo and stuff. Yeah. All right, then you have some other Dark World, or some cards that work in Dark World. Card Destruction, a Heavy Storm, a Mystic, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, all staples. Yeah, basic staples, especially right. with Card and Destruction and Dark Holds. That's all for the spells. Okay. All right, now with Traps, you know, Skill Drain, kind of common in Dark World. A Torrential, Starlight Road, because I hate, you know, getting hit with the Torrential, Heavy Storm, Dark Hole. Yeah. A Warning... Blackhorn of Heaven, which I'm surprised most people don't play. Yeah, talk to me about Blackhorn of Heaven right now, because what made you decide to put that in? Was it when Morning went to one, or were you playing that before? Tell me about that card. I was I was playing it, or at least siding it when Morning was still at two, but then when it went to one, I was like, I'm going to main this, because it's great. I mean, it has. it's when your opponent special summons a monster, you can activate it to negate it. It only mm -hmm. works on Inherit, but everyone Ixies, and some people still Synchro, it works on High Priestess. Yeah. It's just great, because you don't have to pay anything, and it just 
messes with a lot of people. It's a counter trap too. Yep. And no, and it only works on. Um, it destroys the monster too, right? Yep, destroys it. Good. All right, and then you know, just a magic drain. To now talk to me about magic drain. You know I'm a I'm a big fan of magic drain. Yeah, you're the one. I put it in a lot of my decks. Um, how is that working for you? How has that been working out? Magic drain is just a really fun card to play because even if they activate it. I mean, they still have to get rid of another spell card, and that usually, most people only play spells that they really need, so either way, they're getting rid of a card that they need. Right, right. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to the all extra right. deck yep. real fast. That's all for the main. Extra deck, two Stardust. I originally played one, but now I play Road, so, you know, it's nice to have that second Stardust in there. Yeah. Thought Ruler Archfiend, also a good card. Scrap Dragon. Mm-hmm. And then for power, if I just have Skill Drain out... Red Dragon Archfiend. Just Red Dragon Archfiend gets really big if you use a Fire Resonator to make him. Yep, because then it turns into a 33, and you can't get really over that without monster effects. That's all for the level 8 Synchros. Alright. Alright, for the level 7s, so we have Dark Highlander, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Let's move these over just a little bit. Chaos King Archfiend. Okay, now talk to me about... Like, pretty much all those cards. Let's just start with Dark Highlander. What does all that right. do? Like, some of our viewers may not be familiar. I'm not entirely sure what it does off the top of my head. All right. Tell me what, how that card works for you. Dark Highlander, it just stops anyone from synchroing any monsters. Mm. So if it's against a synchro deck, you know, just bring it out and it screws them over. And plus it's a fiend, so it works with gates, too. Nice, and it has 2,800 attack points? Yep, 28. Okay. Let's right. go to Chaos King next. Chaos King is great if opponent has a high attack but low defense, because when it attacks, it switches the attack and defense of all of their face-up monsters to the end phase. Nice, nice. So if nice. you attack with Chaos King, then you can have, like, you weak monsters destroy the bigger monsters on your opponent's side of the field, because their defense is so weak. Nice. Let's go to Ancient Fairy Dragon. Ancient what do you like about Ancient Fairy Dragon? And is that signed? Yes, it's signed. Nice. By the actor, Christina Lee. All right, Ancient Fairy Dragon is a good card if your opponent plays field spells, because you just bring it out in defense, destroy their field spell, gain a thousand, and then you can get your own field spell. So it's just really nice because it messes with people, and it's 3,000 defense, which is hard to get over. So you usually make that in the Dark World Mirror match? Yeah. Nice. And it also has the ability that if I know I'm not going to attack this turn, I can special summon a level 4 or lower. Mm -hmm. It's just nice. Makes right. sense. And then just one level 6. Guy of the nice. Force of Earth. It's just a nice power card to get over. That's it's over all. Stardust. Yep. And that's all the Synchros. Okay. Alright, for Ixies, level 5, Adrius. Okay. You know, with all the level fives I play, it's nice. Right. Now, do you make uh, go for garbage lord into that guy sometimes? Yeah, there's been a few times when I've actually started with two garbage lords and no synchros, so I'll just make Adrius first turn, mm. and you know, fiend also, which works really well because then it gets twenty nine. Nice. All right, and then I actually don't have any level four Ixies in there because I only play three, mm -hmm. so the rest are just level three. Zen mines, of course. Leviathan, and Giga Brilliant. Now, how do you like Giga Brilliant in the deck? It's an insect, it's a light, kind of goes against the uh, kind of theme that's going on, but what do you like about the card? I like it because it gives all monsters 300 attack when I remove it once per turn, and it's permanent. So even if he leaves the field, that monster still has it. Now, tell me about, like, you said you got you got your Red Dragon up really big with that card. Like, show me, tell me about how that, how that worked. Yeah. With Red Dragon, he's already 3,000. So what I did one time is I used Garbage Lord and Flare Resonator Synchro. So that puts him at 33. Then I brought out uh, Giga Brilliant and just over two turns removed it. So it gave it an extra 600. So it was at 39 attack. Now That's you big. cannot get over that with the monster. You're going to need some spells or some traps. And that's just going to be tough if you're, gonna be, if you're playing smart with that Red Dragon. That 3,900 is pretty yeah. huge. All right. Then I have Tem Tempo. How about, talk to me about Tim Tempo. I mean, he's a fiend. How do you like that in the deck? Honestly, I don't bring out Tim Tempo that much, but when I do, if he's in the grave, he's always just there to get banished. Mm -hmm. He's really nice because, you know, if I don't, if my opponent is out of Zen Mines or a Gachi Gachi, it's just nice to use his effect so then he gains that 500. Yeah, gets rid of their, one of their materials. Yep. Good card. And then Levier. Levier the Sea Dragon. How does that work for you? You, I mean, you banish a lot with Gates, so... Yeah. How do you what tell tell me about a play that you usually make with Levier? Well one of my favorite plays to make is to just make Levier with the tour guide. And then use the effect to get us banished snow, return that to my hand with Grapha or just I really like doing that. It's just so much fun. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Or, you know, sense. if I already have, if I have another Resonator, just make four and then go for Highlander, Chaos King, or Ancient Fairy. Okay, cool, makes sense. Is that all the extra deck? Yep, that's all my extra deck. Alright, now tell me, what do you like most about the deck? What I like most about the deck is no one expects it. Right, right. What what card, most cards are shocking, the Resonators, the Garbage Lords? I would have to say it's probably the Resonators, because when... It's great because if people don't know what I'm playing and I have tour guide first turn, what I do is I just bring out tour guide with a resonator. Show me. Alright. Show off this combo that you like so much in the deck. Alright, you know. Make a tour guide and then so I'm going first I'll usually make a flare resonator since I already have two of them. And then just overlay into a Zen Mines and they don't know what I'm playing then. Cause tour guide it was like, oh wow, he's playing Dark Worlds or something or a rabbit. But then I bring out a flare resonator, and then most of the time they're confused, mm -hmm. so they don't know what I'm playing. Right. And how do people react when you bring out Garbage Lord? They're a Garbage Lord. Most some people don't have reaction, but most I've actually some people told me it's just a stupid card because you have to pay the really? two thousand. But I'm just like, it's two thousand. Yeah, that's a lot. But like I've said, early if it's early game, they put you down six thousand, but you get out a powerful synchro for it's a turn. A good like combo or a scrap dragon. Now, do you usually get those life points back if you make your Thought Ruler Archfiend? Um, have you done that? Yeah, I actually have. There's been times when I brought out both of my Garbage Lords, and I still had 8,000 because I just kept uh, killing their monster with a Thought Ruler. Nice. And he's a fiend too, isn't he? Yeah. No, he's a oh, psychic, well, isn't thought he? Yeah, he's Thought a Ruler's a psychic. Yeah, whoops. Archfiend in the name. Alright, so what do you dislike about the deck? What I dislike is the hand sometimes is a hit or miss. Like, there are some times when I've just drawn, and I've just been like, it's like crap. Yeah, show me one of those bad hands that you might get. Alright, like, I'll have a Garbage Lord, which is usually good, but I won't have any Resonator. So I'll have, like, Garbage Lord, Trance, a Morphing Jar, and, like, maybe a Graffa. Some and, spells and traps. Yeah, some spells and traps. Now, this would be good, but not going first. Yeah. Because if I was going second for, like, Trance, Graffa, then destroy one of theirs, attack, because it has 2,000. But first turn, it's not that good. Now tell me about Morphing Jar in the deck, as long as you have him out. How do you like Morphing Jar? Some people don't play him, some people do. How do you like him? Because he's a rock, he's not a fiend. What do you like about him? Well, what I like about Morphing Jar is... Well, it's just a nice card, because if I'm low on cards in my hand... You know, it's just something I said. It was like, yeah, you know, sometimes I have a garbage lord or resonate in my hand or a spell and trap, and that just gets sent to the grave. But, you know, I'm fine with that because I know what I'm getting rid of. Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to get rid of it. My opponent doesn't. So they're just like, well, I'll attack, and then I'll set these three. Well, Morphing Jar. So they just lost them. Right, right. Hits people who are conservative in their hands and uh, works pretty decently for in your deck. Yeah, and it's great, you know, if they don't attack it, flip, Morphing Jar, and I just set everything I wanted to, draw, and then sometimes they also get card destruction with that, use that, and that's just really and fun you to just do. get just like, all the great. card plays. Yep, all of that. Alright, well, seems pretty sweet. Uh, thanks for the deck profile. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and we'll catch you later.